Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects quick tip video. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this kind of really cool and realistic looking snowfall into After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here I have my image. Now you can use a footage as well, but just for tutorial's sake, I'm going to use an image just to show you guys. So I'm going to select it and drag it into a new comp. And just for the record, it's 1920 into 1080 and 30 frames. So here I have my image loaded. And what we need to do is select the layer, go to effects and preset and type in CC snowfall. There we have it and just drag it onto our image or footage if you have one. And as you can see right off the bat, we are going to get this really amazing looking snowfall, right? Well, no, right now it looks pretty lame, but we're going to fix it and make it look really nice and realistic. So let's tweak some settings and let's see how we can make it look really, really nice. So first of all, what I really like to do is to increase the size of the snowflake to let's say around eight and increase the variation to 50. Then I like to tweak around with the scene depth and now it depends on what kind of when snowfall you are gonna create like if you want to create kind of a windy heavy snowfall or kind of a subtle one. So we are gonna create both of them. So first of all I'm gonna show you guys how we can create kind of a windy snowfall. So for that I'm gonna increase or maybe decrease the scene depth to let's say 300. 3000 I mean so we have much snowflakes now you can go and increase the snowflakes as well but I like to you know keep it at default and play around with the scene depth but you can do the vice versa as well then I'm gonna go and increase the speed to let's say somewhere around 700 makes it look like rain you know so let's increase the variation I'll leave the variation 50 and increase the wind to 300 maybe. Looks pretty nice. But it's still not really, you know, organic and doesn't look that realistic. So to make it look realistic, what we need to do is increase the spread, play around with the spread. So I'm going to increase it all the way up to let's say around 60. And what this is going to do is instead of snowflakes, you know coming down or falling in a linear pattern it's gonna make them organic and you know kind of distribute them and give that randomness to it kind of for particles so now it's looking more realistic and looking really organic yep that looks good to me you can also go ahead and increase the variation to let's say maybe 50 percent and let's go and increase the speed a bit to let's say 800 and this is looking really nice you can also go ahead and tweak some settings as you like you know play around with some settings and try to come up with really nice variations now you don't need to follow the exact settings that I'm showing but you know you can always play around and have fun with this thing you can also go ahead and add a little bit of wiggle so to give it a little bit of you know camera shake animation like so so I'm gonna hit P on the layer to bring down the position properties and hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in expression that is the wiggle expression parentheses 1 comma 7 i'm gonna keep it really really minimal and let's scale this a bit up to let's say 105 and this is gonna add that little bit of camera shake which makes it look even better now let's try to create a really subtle snowfall. So to do that, first of all, we need to increase the scene depth all the way up to 12,000. And maybe I'll increase or maybe I'll decrease the speed to let's say 300 and the wind to around 100. And there we have it, a really subtle and really smooth looking snowfall. It's not the most amazing snowfall, but it's really nice and realistic to get the work done so that looks really nice and subtle so it's that easy and that simple to create not so realistic but almost realistic snowfall into after effects without using any third party plugin 
So I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.